Years ago, I was trying to um, go to lunch with this pastor. It was so long ago, we had day timers. Does anyone remember day timers? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, we, we had our day timers out, he and I, and we were saying, well, what about, you know, Monday? No, what about, well, I've got something. What about Tuesday? No, I've got something. What about Wednesday? No, I'm out of town, you know. I said, well, what about Thursday? What do you have scheduled Thursday? He said, nothing. I said, great, let's have lunch Thursday. He said, no, I can't, can't do Thursday. I said, well, why can't, why can't you? He said, well, because I've got nothing scheduled. And I didn't get it. I said, uh-huh, let's do lunch Thursday. He said, no, Robert, you're not following me. Thursday, I'm scheduled to do nothing. Thursday, I'm going to do nothing. I'm scheduled to do nothing on Thursday. Nothing is on my schedule <laughs> for Thursday. And then he said, when we get together for lunch, I want to tell you about it. So we got together another day, and he told me, he said, when I was 50 years old, I was lying in a hospital bed and they told me I was dying. My organs were shutting down and they didn't know why. And one night I said to the Lord, Lord, why are you doing this to me? I've served you my whole life. And the Lord said, oh, son, I'm not doing this to you. You did this to you. Because you haven't rested one day a week. You've already worked a lifetime. You're dying. And this pastor said, well, Lord, if I repent, truly repent, would you be gracious and heal me? And I love the Lord's answer. He said, of course. Of course I would. He said he felt strength come in his body. He got up, he unplugged himself, got dressed, and walked out of the hospital. He was 65 when I was meeting with him for lunch. Never been back to the hospital since. And he died a ripe old age. And I'm not gonna say what that age is because if I say it, you might be that age and you might think I'm not ripe. 